We are now under 60 days to go. It seems September is poised to be a month jam-packed with new Red Dead Redemption 2 images, information, and footage. We've already discussed the hands-on gameplay previews that are coming from the official PlayStation Magazine and Edge Magazine in September. With this month of August now being just about over, it seems Rockstar Games is waiting just a little longer until they reveal part two of the gameplay series. But today they did reveal the merchandise of Red Dead Redemption. Redemption 2. While this isn't necessarily huge news, what is are some of the details given about said items. We actually got some great images of models for certain weaponry that we'll see and use in the game. One image showed the cost of a revolver only being $2, which hopefully is representative of how much things cost in the actual game. We've already seen Rockstar is including cents, which hopefully is indication that money is more realistic to this time period. Within the the promotional image of this merchandise in the background behind the Red Dead Redemption 2 logo, we actually see all the businesses that will be featured in the game. Interestingly, one represents bicycles, which would be cool to see as something we could ride in game, and there also is a camera company, which the pose looks similar to the NPC that Arthur encounters in the gameplay introduction. Some are already predicting that this could be Red Dead's version of the Snapmatic feature that's in Grand Theft Auto Five and Grand Theft Auto Online. Now while this all looks great and I'll personally be grabbing a few of these showcased merchandise whenever they do become available, the biggest piece of information comes from this specific image of a train. It's a Metal Earth 3D train puzzle and its description says, Rockstar Games and Fascinations have collaborated to produce a Metal Earth 3D puzzle for you to build, inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2. The train as featured in the game runs passengers and freight on the entire network of railways throughout Amberino, New Hanover, West Elizabeth, Lemoyne, and New Austin. And yes, this is our confirmation that New Austin is back. But Rockstar also makes a mention of an unknown location being Amberino, which immediately many think this may be a new part of Mexico, and is specifically the name of this mysterious desert location that was teased in the gameplay introduction. Lemoyne is also another location that may take some of you by surprise, but it's actually been shown a few times, and is the name of the region covering St. Denis, the New Orleans inspired city in the game. But with New Austin back, this does mean that there is a good chance that Arthur Morgan may have an interaction with past Red Dead Redemption characters like Drew and Bonnie McFarlane, maybe even some of Bonnie's brothers before they, you know, die, Seth Breyers, Herbert Moon, or Marshall Lay Johnson, and I'm sure there's some other characters that could come into the fold. This is huge information because this also adds even more validity to the trusted review leak which came months ago which revealed this detail. Story-wise, with New Austin returning, we can assume that Arthur Morgan will travel to that region by himself or without part of the gang, because John Marston does not make his way to New Austin for the first time until the events of Red Dead Redemption that take place in 1911. So the other region, Amberino, is very interesting because no one can really pinpoint where it could be on this leaked map. Also, I should mention that we now know for sure that this leaked map that came back in 2016 is a bit out of date, and the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 is much bigger than any of us ever expected. PlayStation Access recently said that this would be the biggest world Rockstar's ever created, and I had my doubts about that claim or statement, but now I feel very differently on this. Amberino could be the northwestern section of Mexico, or it could be that mysterious island region at the top which is said to be represented representing a fictional Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Although I always figured that this would just be a small North Yankton-like location in the game, but based on the description of the train, it has to be big enough to fit a railway, so at this point I'm not sure. But these are the surprises I really do love getting, only weeks away from release. Now, one other thing about this that I find interesting is that Rockstar only mentions five states. We have Amberino, New Hanover, West Elizabeth, Lemoyne, and New Austin. And we get no mention to Nuevo Paraiso, which makes 
makes me wonder if we are getting a new Mexico location, maybe not connected at all to the one that we got in Red Dead Redemption. Looking at the Edge magazine cover, it also strangely only has five stars, which I wonder if it represents these five states that we'll see in the game. Also, a leak that we covered a long time ago that was posted to Reddit years ago and mentioned the main character of the game saying he would be named Arthur and pointed out some story details that looked accurate. Many people didn't take it seriously until we started hearing and seeing more of Red Dead Redemption 2. Pretty much everything about it, it looks completely accurate. Anyway, they claim that the game would span five zones. Just another thing that kind of goes along with this if there are just five states in the game. But there is some other news that I want to discuss with the first being a secret event that took place at a GameStop Expo yesterday at an Indiana Convention Center. As far as I understand, this event is only for employees and management of GameStop, but right at the end of the show, apparently Rockstar Games showed up and revealed Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay to those who were attending. The person who captured this image said that, Strict orders to not post anything about what I just witnessed live from hashtag Rockstar Rockstar Games, hashtag Red Dead Redemption 2, but rest assured it will be the greatest game ever made. In the comment section of this Instagram post, this user would further add, it's the best looking game I've ever seen, no joke. And after 20 minutes or so of playing this gorgeous game, the presenter says, RDR2 will support PS4 Pro enhancement, but what you just saw was on the standard PlayStation 4. He would further explain to some of the other people commenting and asking questions that he can't reveal what was shown, but everyone there was impressed. Apparently Rockstar actually has shown up to this event in the past to promote games like Grand Theft Auto V and Max Payne 3, so Rockstar does show up to gaming events, just not the public ones, unfortunately. And lastly, Game Informer's editor-in-chief recently took to Twitter and confirmed that they would not be doing a Red Dead Redemption 2 cover. Specifically, he said, we don't have a RDR2 cover coming. Everyone tried, it just did not work out. Anyway, it seems we should have much more to discuss in the coming days. It's it's always a waiting game with Rockstar, but it's always worth it. But what is your opinion on New Austin returning and the possibility of what this mysterious region could be? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and also consider subscribing for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come, and remember, Outlaws for life.